You want to talk about it, let's talk. You want to speak about it, let's speak. We're going to spread this encouragement from the church to the street. The Lakeisha, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Mosley Show. The Lakeisha, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Mosley Show. The Lakeisha, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Mosley Show. And they talk about nothing but the unseen and unspoken issues while providing encouragement and love and understanding. She talks about issues that people in high places and influences are afraid to discuss publicly. Stay tuned. It's about to get real live, live, live. And you're tuned in to the Lakeisha Mosley Show. Greetings, greetings, everyone. I'm so thankful for you to come on the broadcast today on Lakeisha Mosley Show. We're going to have a great conversation. We're going to talk about weekly reflections. Weekly reflections. What are you reflecting on in the week? I love weekly reflections because I'm able to talk about what happened, what is going to change in my life, what will I keep, and also, what do I aspire to understand? I love these reflections, definitely, because I'm able to really review what is happening in my future, my past, and what is happening in my present. Listen, it is good. I'm so excited about that because I'm able to really um, think about those things that are is going on, you know, in the future and what God is doing and what did I grab a hold of? What nuggets, what tools, what uh, gems, I like to call them, um, what is going on? Yeah, I like to keep going and I like to learn from. Wisdom is always the key. Wisdom is always the key. Some love that. Wisdom is the key because I'm always growing in wisdom. Listen, today's episode, today's episode, we're going to talk about she speaks, she speaks, um, celebrates and empowerment in your voice, celebration and empowerment in your voice. I am so, so inspired to talk about this because today is International Women's Day, International Women's Day. We're talking about women, women who are empowered to do something new, do something different, who are empowered to change the path, like being being pioneers, honestly, and refusing to be defeated. We're going to say that again. Refru- re- bleh, refusing to be defeated. Isn't that something? Because when you're empowered, you know, you're really not taking a um, no for an answer. When you're empowered, you're not taking no for an answer. So with that being said, It's truly, truly a blessing to do it afraid. Do it afraid. You know, doing it afraid is powerful. Mind you, that might not be something that everyone is willing to do. Mind you, everyone does not like to be by themselves. Everybody does not like to be the only one. I know how that feels. Do you know how that feels? Are you empowered to be different? Are you empowered to be... uh, misunderstood are you empowered to know hey i might be by myself i might be the only one are you still gonna go are you still gonna achieve greatness listen let's have a conversation and talk about that because today i like to reflect on amazing women who are pioneers and who are doing something different different trailblazers trailblazers you know Um, Everybody likes to call them trailblazers, but at the same time, that's not what they were called when they weren't winning, you know, under um, different circumstances. It was negative um, remarks, uh, spit on, talked about, bullied, you know, contemplating to be defeated, you know, that was the... I mean, the things that's going on in their head, they don't know if they were going to win. They don't know if they were going to do something different and it was going to work out. But you know what? Didn't stop. It didn't stop. And I love that. I love being a woman because we don't stop. We have something within our spirits that are truly powerful that causes us to win. 
you know, when I think about women, when I think about women today, I mean, it's so amazing because we're talking about just being empowered to win, right? You know, when we think about the woman today, we talking about a woman who uh, pretty much uh, makes the plate, cooks the food, feeds the family, and also run her business. I mean, we're talking about that in today's, in today's age, right? Everybody is seeing something like that. I mean, we have the first uh, minority vice president on the United States with us now, and she's doing it. She is truly achieving greatness. She's a boss. She is somebody you can look at and say, hey, I want to be just like her because she totally has changed everything. You have something, something to look up to. You know, you have something to reflect on and say, you know what? I could say it, tell my children, you know, that woman is amazing. Mind you, I don't have girls. I only have a young men. But at the same time, I believe they're going to do great because it's not gender specific, but it is, it is great to be able to see the fact that she's doing it, y'all. She's doing it. We could take her journey and we can be empowered to change and win. We can take her journey and say, you know what, through all the ups and the downs, through the good and bad, she still powered through and she still was able to make it happen. Being a minority in today, she's able to do abundantly amazing things. That's what I have to talk about. I mean, I have so much more, but just to keep it in perspective, I'm looking at that and I'm like, wow, I'm so empowered to be a woman. You know, women, we all know, women in today's age uh, pretty much have been belittled, you know, pushed to the side. Equal pay, not happening. You have some pay, but you don't have equal pay. That's still a challenge in today's age. But one thing that I can always reflect on is that, you know what? Through the things that have come up, I still believe I can win because I have certain certain um, aspects of life that I can hold on to, and I know that I can do something better. I know that I can make it be a change, be of change, change my life and change others' life. You know that are that is looking for the same thing, right? That is looking for some difference in their life. And if it's just one person, I always say, if it's just one person that is that is receiving something different, I'm I'm winning the lottery. I'm really winning the lottery. I'm winning the lottery because that person is doing something different. I feel like that. I feel like that I have won because it only takes one person to make changes happen in our lives that we can reflect on and we can say, you know what? I may not have a hundred, but I got that one. I may not have that thousand, but I got that hundred. I may not have that 10,000, but I have that a couple of hundred people who are buying in on what I'm doing. They're seeing my changes. They're seeing my reflections and I've, I'm empowered to press a board, move something different in my way, and I will not let go. That is change. That is a true change maker. That is someone that can do something different because being empowered to do something different, that's all God asks for. All God asks for us, us to just be a change maker and to move forward. I love uh, Mary Mary. Those are my girls right there. I love them. They they say, look, why don't we just walk? Why don't we just walk? Why don't we just take one step at a time? I'm walking. I'm taking one step at a time. As long as I don't give up, as long as I, as long as if I don't change my path, if I can just take one step at a time, I'm winning. I'm winning. 
I'm telling you, do you um, feel the same way? Do you feel like you can just walk, take one step at a time? I believe you can. I believe you can do mighty, amazing things. Wow, God is good. So my second point, what other things have you seen that you want to change? You know, things that I did see, I do want to change my perspective. My perspective has changed because I realized I have limited myself in looking at certain things and realizing, wow, I was looking at things different that was not uh, really equal. You know, I'm be honest with you. I believe that I didn't look at others um, having the same um, plan, you know, as me and looking at them like they can be equal. That's just real. I may not ag agree with your views, but at the same time, it's not okay for me to judge and, for, and to put shame on you. You know, it wasn't like it was something that I was doing um, personally on a person, but my views still was not aligned with the word of God. It was not giving God the authority to say, hey, you know what? God does not uh, like the way I'm thinking. So it, it, it behooves me to make sure that I do not cast judgment on somebody and I walk in love. I may not agree with you, but you know what? That's okay. We can walk with me not agreeing with you. And that is love, truly. Because that's how God walks. God does not judge based off of somebody doing something the way he thinks they should do at that time. He loves you no matter what. He's always going to live, lean that hand to you with love to say, hey, you know what? You're taking a walk. You're walking. As long as you're walking, you're going to achieve greatness and everything is going to work out. And that's what I'm saying. God is going to do that. And isn't God so awesome? God is so loving and so assured of all of us to do that great work. God really encourages all to love our neighbor as ourselves, because that's exactly how he loves me. If God judged me and required me to be perfect, Wow, that's going to be messed up, right? That would be messed up. That would not be um, in alignment with the Lord if he required me to get it right the first time because that's not how God is. God says, it's just, just like Mary Mary says, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Make sure you check your values every day to make sure it's aligning with the Lord God, making sure that everything that you are doing is uplifting God's way always. Because honestly, all we have is the representation of the word of God. As long as we are representing love and support and not shame, and not judgment, we're winning. We are winning. So I encourage you all to do the same thing, to win in everything that you are doing, to always walk in love, not judgment, to always look over your perspectives to make sure they're aligning with the word of God, to make sure you're not judging others based off of your views, that may not align with their views to make sure you're just walking and you're encouraging somebody because you never know. You never know what someone's going through. You never know what they are dealing with because that's empowerment. One thing I want to say, um, this week I have been um, talking about how it's important for us to understand that we want to share our light to make sure we share our testimonies, make sure we understand that 
our stories are truly power because our stories are our superpowers. So when we understand that, even if it's uh, bad and ugly, our stories might be someone else's uh, testimony that they needed to hear. We don't understand, you know, sometimes that our stories really changes somebody's life, really changes somebody's life to where they won't commit suicide, right? To where they won't be encouraged to take their life. They won't be encouraged to um, stop the fight, the good fight of faith, because we have a story that is similar to theirs. We never know who we are touching. We never know whose light is dim and it brightens up with your story of transparency. We never know that if we don't share it. Sometimes we need, you know, I always say, you know, with other speakers to understand that we are, um, to vote, go ahead and make it happen. Go ahead to do it afraid. You're not going to get it right the first time. I'm going to say that again. You're not going to get it right the first time all the time. It's not going to be all nice and in a bundle, all nice and in pretty bow, all wrapped up and all figured out the first time. The fact that you're getting out there and stepping and going ahead and making it happen you're just going to write it down. You're just going to put it on paper. You're just going to tell others that, hey, you know what? I was there too. I was just like you, you know, but I didn't give up. I didn't have people to have my back. I didn't have people that understood where I was going. I didn't have people that will uh, be empowered to do something different. And because of that, you know, I'm empowered to do something different. I'm empowered to change my life, you know, to make sure that, you know, I'm always acting in the way that God wants me to act, always to make sure my perspectives are, are aligned with the way he see things. As long as I'm doing that, I'm always winning. Somebody out there is listening to me. Somebody out there is not going to take their life. And somebody out there is going to go ahead and walk. Just walk. Take that step. I'm walking. I'm walking. So I hope that encouraged you today. Um, definitely, I want to make sure I empower everyone on my podcast, you know, because it is so important for us all to win. It is so important for all of us to learn. It is so important for all of us to be inspired to uh, understand what is what is happening in our midst. What am I supposed to figure out? And if we grab those jewels, if we understand that we are empowered to win, if we understand that whatever we understood, and like I say all the time, it's not a failure. There are perceived failures. When we understand that, and we're empowered to do something different, and we're empowered to change and do something um, that's going to increase our knowledge to win. You are winning. You are winning. Remember, we are supposed to walk. We're just supposed to walk. We're supposed to not give up. We're supposed to not shed a tear. We're supposed to not give up. Understand. God is going to bring those people to your path for you to win and be encouraged, to be enlightened, to be inspired, to be empowered, to grow, and always to understand that you are good, that everything is working out for you, that God is with you, because he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is always going to look at you and say, hey, I love my daughter. I love my son. I love my creation because they are winning. They are winning. Always understand that. 
always be encouraged all the time. So I just want to tell you to be uh, encouraged to understand, you know, these I statements, I'm going to say them right now. I am empowered. I am worthy. I am courageous. I am teachable. I am coachable. I am friendly. I am loved. I hope you are encouraged by that because it's so important for us to understand that. I'm going to go ahead and say that again. I am empowered. I am worthy. I am courageous. I am teachable. I am coachable. I am friendly. I am love. I love that. I hope you were encouraged. I hope you got all of that because it's so important for us to understand those I statements are powerful. Make sure you begin to understand that. Write those down. Write those down to make sure that you see those every day, preferably in the morning, and give yourself some empowerment tools to understand that God is with you. Holy Spirit is with you always, always telling you that you can do it, that you can do anything. You are more than enough, that you are encouraged to win. And I'm loving that it is International Women's day and because those women that we totally love those sisters did the same thing they were encouraged they understood that they were great listen they knew that they were not going to be uh, looked at as winners before they were winners they knew that others would look at them and definitely misunderstand them Definitely make sure that, you know, they were, you know, misunderstood. So with that being said, understand you're not by yourself. You're not by yourself. You're not by yourself. Sometimes you will sit at the movie theater by yourself. Sometimes you will be at the uh, restaurant by yourself. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to read, read those notes. You know, if you want to get married, sometimes you have to encourage yourself and say, hey, I don't see, you know, that uh, the visual of marriage. But you told me I could have anything, Lord. You told me that I can be anything and I could do anything. And I believe that. So I'm going to set this table up as if, you know, my spouse is coming home to eat, you know, um, dinner after a long day at work. And I'm going to go ahead and set this table up. I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is set up for the coffee to be made. I'm going to go ahead and set everything up for the, you know, for refreshments to be laid out. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I pray for you every day because that's what spouses do. I'm just telling you a little bit of what I did for myself because before my husband came, I did the very same thing. I had certain things that I wrote down, Habakkuk two and two. I laid the line down. I wrote those things down. I said, okay, God says, write it down, make it plain. So you can make friends with it. And that's what I said. Okay, God, I feel like I'm crazy, but God said, just keep it sacred. Everybody don't need to know your business. Keep it sacred. And I wrote it down and I began to say it every day. So much so that's when I began to believe it. I began to say those things. That's how I was able to believe that my husband was coming. Nobody could tell me anything different because I believed it once I began to say it all the time. It's crazy. That's what it looked like because I wasn't able to physically see him, but I knew it in my mind's eye. I knew that he was there. And sure enough, 
I was I was worship worshiping the Lord. I was serving him in church and I was called um, by one of my amazing friends. And they said, hey, Keisha, um, I know this sounds crazy, but uh, I got somebody I want you to meet. And wow, that's where the story start started, everybody. My husband came through that avenue. We went on, on our first date. I'm like, wow, are you sure you want to do this? Do you know anything about me? He's like, I know everything about you. My best friend told me all about you. And he told me also, you got two kids. I was married before everybody. And I have two, I had two beautiful boys from my first marriage. And I said, are you sure? I'm gonna say this again. Are you sure you talking to the right person? Cause I got two kids, not one, but two. And he was like, absolutely. I'm totally excited to meet them when you allow me to. And that's a long story, y'all. This is huge. This was my life. And I just want to share that with you for you to be encouraged to understand Habakkuk 2 and 2 is real. Make sure you take that scripture and write it down. Make it plain. You don't have to make it big. Mind you, everybody may not get you. Everybody, somebody might think you're crazy. But once you begin to do that, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit takes over. You don't have to make it happen. I didn't know him. But when we began to start talking and courting, I realized, okay, this is crazy. You know everybody I know? And he did. He knew everybody I knew. Oh, my God. All you got to do is look him up. Look up his friends. Everybody he knew. I knew. God knew what to do. Isn't that crazy? Just to let you know, the Holy Spirit works in amazing ways to get everything to you. All you got to do is believe that. All you got to do is believe. That message was for somebody out there. I hope it encouraged you today and to share a little bit of my testimony on Women's Day, International Women's Day. You know, I was inspired to tell you that, and I hope it encouraged you and enlightened you to never give up. Don't give up on your goals. God knows what you want. God knows where you're going to go. God has it all together. All you have to do is continue to believe. Continue to know God is always going to be there for you. God has everything together. You ain't got to make it happen. You ain't got to. All you got to do is believe. All you got to do is believe. I hope you were encouraged by that uh, little uh, pathway of my life. (laughs) My little pathway of my life. That's funny. That was like, it's almost 10 years. We've been married for almost 10 years, y'all. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? My oldest, he'll be 18 years old at the end of the week on Friday. On Friday. My middle son, he'll, he's 15 years old. Wow. We're talking about they were six and four. Six and four, y'all. This was many years ago. I can't believe so much time has went by, but that's how life works. That's how life works. I'm just letting you know, God is always there for you. And when we talk about my ex-husband, it's crazy because my ex-husband and my husband are really close. Actually, you know, we're co-parenting together because you know, my ex-husband is not in the state that we're in. We're in um, amazing Maryland. And my ex-husband is in Michigan. And he totally has to depend on my kids to be raised in another state. That is something, right? That is something. I just want to encourage you. And I hope that blessed you. And hope you are encouraged to never give up. Understand If you're looking to get married again, if you're just looking to have a friend, if you're looking to be uh, connected with partners, if you're looking to collab with others, mind you, God has you your back. Write it down. Make sure you make it plain. 
And I promise you, it's going to happen for you. Always be encouraged to win. Be encouraged to do something different. I'm so thankful for my life. Um, it's a blessing to be encouraged to do something different. During this pandemic, listen, this is different, y'all. I don't have no words for this pandemic. It is different. But at the same time, no matter how different everything is, God still is the same. God will never change. God will always be there, always be alert, and always looking after you all the time. I want you to be encouraged to win. Be encouraged to collaborate, partner with your friends. Connect the dots as you begin to see them. Know that those dots and those gems opening up for you is real. Wisdom is, is coming your way. Encourage you to do something different. Understand this pandemic will never stop will never stop the, the word of God for your life. I don't care what happened. I don't care if your job is lost. I don't care if your dreams look like it is dimming low, very low. Hey, let's keep it real. Sometimes it's dark and it's black. <laughs> Sometimes it looks voided. Sometimes it looks discouraging. But I just hope that story inspired you to never give up and always understand you win in the end. You will always win in the end. My goodness. Everything has happened really well. Um, I couldn't go over everything because so many great things have happened this week. I have collaborations that are opening up all the time. My speaking engagements have increased because I love to speak and I love to write, right? So that, that has really um, blew up even more in my path in my life. My first book, How Do I Get Unstuck, is actually being revised, being revised and um, being written uh, with more detail to the story because I always want to make sure I'm providing great product to you for you to understand you know, what I truly meant in my story. And I'm encouraged to you uh, to love it, to be encouraged to um, buy your copy when it's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and close out today and go ahead and make sure everything is aligned right for you because God is truly great in doing something encouraging in all of our myths today. So we're going to go ahead into the scripture reference. It's going to be Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. And this is familiar scripture, you guys. This is, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. I want you to understand just how special that scripture is. Because Paul, you know, he began to realize just how he couldn't do life without God, that he, God was his source of his salvation all the time, right? And understand that he needed God to, to really um, open up his life and, you know, within his spiritual growth, right? He could not complete this job without God had everything aligned with God to open up, to understand, to be renewed. And honestly, as Paul began to understand that, he will never forget that God has to always be first and be the source for everything that he needed in his path. So I just want you to take Paul, because he was amazing. When Paul began to understand just how his story and his life, you know, needed to be shared with the world, you know, that's when he just continued to empower others. So I want you to be empowered to understand that you win, that you will always achieve greatness. You are always connected to God, which is the source for everything that you need today. 
I'm going to go ahead and shut our podcast um, segment down. We're going to go ahead and begin to talk about how you can connect with me. Make sure you connect with me on Pray.com. Make sure you connect with me um, each week um, on all those various uh, platforms. We're going to go ahead and talk about Amazon Music. We're going to talk about Spotify, iTunes, iHeartMedia. We're going to go ahead and talk about Roku, which is our new platform, Praise TV. We're going to go ahead and also talk about Comcast Infinity Cable TV, Channel 25, Atlanta, Georgia, DeKalb County. Make sure you come connect with me on those platforms. Make sure you connect with Positive Power, Double X5, and you're going to be able to see when I go live on those platforms. You're going to be amazingly blessed and enriched always. I just love you so much. God is so good. God is truly, truly good. And God is always giving us something new. Because of that, make sure you stay connected. God is doing something new always. And I always love to share that with you. I want you to be encouraged to win. Make sure you don't forget every week on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am always going live on Twitter and on Twitter and on not Instagram, Twitter and uh, all of the other segments of Facebook, Facebook Live. Let's not forget Facebook Live. Okay, that's Twitter and Facebook Live. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that hilarious, y'all? I won't forget that. Twitter and Facebook Live. Make sure you connect with us. We're going to be um, setting those up for you to be enjoyed, you know, all those platforms. I love you so much. Be encouraged to understand that you win always with healing, encouragement, empowerment. I, re I want you to remember that in all you do, lead with confidence, understanding, and love always. Make sure you stay connected. We got Jerry Worst Live, last segment of the Triple Podcast. I love you so much. Make sure you stay connected with us. We're always going to encourage you moving forward. This is Lakeisha, and I'm signing out on tonight's podcast. I love you so much. Have a good night. You want to talk about it, let's talk. You want to speak about it, let's speak. We're going to spread this encouragement from the church to the street. The Lakeisha, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Mosley Show. The Lakeisha, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Mosley Show. The Lakeisha, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Mosley Show. And they talk about nothing but the unseen and unspoken issues while providing encouragement and love and understanding. She talks about issues that people in high places and influences are afraid to discuss publicly. Stay tuned. It's about to get real live, live, live. And you're tuned in to the Lakeisha Mosley Show.